Hey everybody, welcome to High Octane Only. My name is Jared, and this is my new daily driver. So if you guys have watched my channel before, you'll know that I have a 2016 GMC 2500 HD Denali, but it's a little different now. I've got a seven inch lift from Magoy's and I have the same wheels that I had before. So the 20 by 10 fuel nuts, uh, that's what I had. And then instead of the 33 inch Toyo Open Country ATs, I now have Gladiator X-Comp MTs, and they are 37 by 13 and a half. So they are some, some pretty meaty tires. I just got her all cleaned up. I just took her on a 600 mile road trip with my wife. We went up to the Apostle Islands, um, up in the northernmost point of Wisconsin. So it was about a, just shy of a six hour drive for us. So it was pretty far. Um, and it held up perfect. And believe it or not, these tires that are on here, you'd think they would just be absurdly loud, but they're really not. Only between 40 and 50 miles an hour, they're pretty loud. But if you're below that or you're cruising at highway speeds, they're not really that much more loud than my open country ATs that I had previously. So um, I, I am super impressed with these tires. I also thought that with adding this lift kit that my ride quality was gonna get pretty bad um, but it actually did it and I, on my old uh, setup my steering wheel kind of shook a little bit at speeds and when I was slowing down it would shake a little bit but I mean nothing too serious um, but the the shop that I had to install all this stuff did an excellent job and it actually rides better on my lift than it did when I only had the leveling kit on it so I am super happy about that I also had this done for a show that I'm gonna be attending on August 14th. So if you're in the Madison area in Wisconsin, I will be at the Aviation and Autos show. It's gonna be at the Middleton Airport, and it's gonna be a really, really cool show. There's gonna be a lot of cars there. And from what I've been told, there is going to be a special edition Ford GT at this show. It's worth like, over a million dollars. Um, so if that's something you guys are interested in, it's gonna be here. So uh, you can come and see that. You can come and see me, you can come talk to me. I'll be happy to talk to you about cars and trucks. I can talk about this stuff all day. One thing that I thought was gonna drastically change was my fuel mileage. Um, I thought for sure it would just go in the tank, um, but actually it, it didn't. When I'm driving in the city, it's not too great. I used to get about 16 or so. I get about 13 or 14 now, so it's not that bad. Um, but believe it or not, on the highway, I actually get better gas mileage than I did before. I used to get about 18 to 19. Now, if it, on that long road trip, I averaged almost 22 miles to the gallon with a big three quarter ton truck and a seven inch lift and 37 inch tires, which honestly I thought was never gonna happen. So I'm super happy about that as well. And one more thing about this Magoy's lift kit that I have. Um, I think it looks absolutely spectacular. It's not quite done yet. Um, I'm still waiting for my traction bars to come in. Uh, but once I have those in, it'll really complete the look. And I think it's going to just look awesome. So I'm super excited about that. And I'll have another video about that coming with the installation of the traction bars. 
So as I mentioned earlier, this is my daily driver. It's been my daily driver since November of 2019, but it was a little different before. Um, so just a couple of things that I've added recently. I have this seven inch lift from Magoy's. Now, if you ask me, I think they have the best looking front cross member in the game right now so and they have a really really good quality product that's why i chose that lift over all the other ones i also opted for their upper control arms which as you can see have the uh, stainless steel inserts on the top there um, i got the new struts on the inside with the shocks it comes with it's basically a whole suspension replacement kit so then you have your torsion bar drops in here. You've got these really cool looking pieces. And then the one thing I also opted for but is not here yet is the traction bars. So those are going to be mounted somewhere on the frame. I don't know, from around, right around here somewhere. And they're going to go back and attach to the axle. So that way I've got a little bit better traction. Obviously, hence the name, traction bars. So when I originally ordered my kit, they neglected to send them to me. So I'm still waiting for those, but those should be installed soon. And when that happens, I'll have another video for that. Um, I would, like I mentioned before, the ride quality on this thing is so much better, believe it or not. And even with these super aggressive tires from Gladiator X Comp, I mean, the, it still rides spectacular. It is a little loud, um, but when you're doing highway speeds and you have the radio on at a normal sound, uh, you honestly can't even tell. Do a little look from the back here. So that's where we're at. So keep in mind, I'm 6'2". So this is, it's a pretty tall truck. So, I mean, it stands out pretty much in, in any type of crowd, anywhere I park it. I get a lot of attention, as you can probably imagine. And a lot of the guys at work like to tease me about it, but I don't care because I think it looks spectacular. So anyway, this is my new daily driver. I plan on driving it in the winter all the time. I don't plan on getting a winter beater. This, you're looking at it. This is what's going to be my daily. So I plan on having a lot more videos about it once we get so far. Um, if you guys have questions about it or about anything about the lift or anything like that, um, I'd be happy to put that information down in the description below so you guys can check it out. I'll also have pictures of this up on Custom Offset's website in the gallery so you can see fitment and everything. Um, so if you're looking to do this to your truck, you can certainly do so. Hope you guys liked today's video, and I'll see you in the next one.